Hey, it's Meg. Welcome back to my channel. So today I wanted to do a journal with me, but I thought I haven't done a real time sit down, let's craft together in such a long time. I've done lots of voiceovers, which are really fun to do, but I don't think anything beats actually sitting down and actually um, chatting through what I'm doing. It does always mean that I don't get like loads of stuff done, but I also like to uh, watch when other people do this because it's quite nice to see like what a realistic journal session looks like so I've got a coffee I've got my um, passport um, journal I, I loved working in this for the last journal with B that I posted here so I've zoomed in the camera so hopefully you get a nice close-up shot because this is a really tiny journal I think it's like 3.5 inches by five or five and a half inches so it, it's really really small and the junk journal that i've made to fit inside this there are pages that are like not full size so these are like even smaller um i feel like having worked in the a6 journal um for my previous journals um for like the junk journal july challenge and just generally um, within my journaling, I feel like I'm quite used to a small journal size, so it's not too bad being in this tiny size, but I know it can be a bit challenging. So I'm just going to set this off to the side so that I don't get anything on it because I want to um, protect this cover. So any coffee spills <laughs> that happen, um, this is going to be far, far away on my desk because we all know I'm prone to... Um, spilling my coffee. If you watched the um, Junk Journal July series, you'll know that like two days into the challenge, I managed to spill coffee everywhere, but um, fingers crossed that doesn't happen um, today because I do actually have a um, jar of coffee here that I want to do some coffee staining in this journal. So I don't really know what I'm going to do with this front cover yet. I haven't really decided. I feel like it looks a little bit plain, but I'm... I feel like I'm settling into this journal. I've only sat down to journal in it once, so I feel like I'm not um, at home enough in this journal to work on the inside cover just yet. So I think first what I want to do is some coffee staining. So these are the pages that we've got currently, so that's what we did um, last time. So I've got a page that's slightly smaller, and then this page that I decided to um, do some hole punching off I've got this really cute little um I don't even know what pattern this is actually I don't know what the, the, the name for it is um but I remember finding this little punch at a um like arts and crafts fair where some guy just had like a box of all these different punches and it was like you know three for like a pound or something and I just thought that this one was super cute um and so that's what I just did down the side of this. So what I think I'm going to do first is just put some paper underneath so we don't get too much of this coffee going everywhere. This is just random scraps and I will probably end up using these for other things but I just wanted to add these here so that I can add my coffee. So all I do is just use a bit of instant coffee and I've got just like a, a random paintbrush. Um, if you've got really nice fancy paintbrushes, then I'd recommend maybe using something um, else, maybe ones that you're not too precious about. This coffee staining, I'm pretty sure it's going to go through to the other side of the page, but um, when I turn it round, that'll be a surprise for us both. Um, so I'm not, I'm not really too precious about it um, showing through on the other side. Um, so I'm just going to kind of go in random places. Um, I try not to put too much on the center because that'll put a bit of stress on um, the spine if you're kind of adding lots of water um, to that. So I'm just kind of gently going along here and this won't go like super stained because it's not like soaking in the coffee for a long time, but it's just to add something to my beige pages, like a different shade of brown, which... Um, I just think it adds a nice touch to that. So I'm just sort of dabbing it in random places. Sometimes what I also do is just um, tap the brush gently to get kind of little little splats of the, the coffee. And so, yeah, just kind of spreading it around. I don't want to add too much. 
and I'm conscious of if I add it to here I don't want to interrupt where I've done the hole punching so I'm just going to gently gently do that and this is just for like a background kind of um effect almost I'm probably going to cover a lot of this up with collage perhaps but it's just to add as a initial bit of interest in the background and I don't have any idea what I'm going to be doing on this page it it will be a surprise <laughs> for us both what I'm going to do um because I feel like I have a lot of people ask me like how I know what to do and things and um <laughs> I don't I kind of sit down and just see see what I fancy doing see what takes my interest and go from there um I find that's the easiest way to not put too much pressure on yourself and sort of the expectations of doing certain things so um yeah we're just gonna have fun with this journal page so i'm just gonna take this away very quickly and dry it and i will be back okay so now that that is dry i'm just going to set that off to the side um this was the paper that was underneath and i actually quite like how the random copy bits that got on it have dried so i think i'm just going to um cut this bit off or or tear it um i don't normally get the scissors out i just kind of rip things i feel like if you're um a regular here and you've seen my videos before you know that i don't really do any like precise cutting or measuring apart from fussy cutting um i will i will spend time with that but otherwise it, it's all quite random around here so um, i'm just gonna take this bit off because that's i don't know what happened there when i was coffee dyeing it but it went really really dark on the edge so i'm just going to take that off because i don't like that and i think i might stick it kind of here maybe um the coffee as you can see it's it's really quite subtle but it just adds some texture to the page or kind of a bit of interest um to to work with so maybe we will i think this needs to be ripped i don't really like the straight line that we've got going on there I'm just going to tear tear that and then I think I will just stick that down here so I will just need to grab a glue stick so I'm just going to grab a glue stick and pop this down mm, do I want the lighter no I quite like that um let's just stick this down And I'm just gonna fold this just so I can press it into the edge and actually I don't think oh yeah because I had some collage here I don't think any of my coffee dyeing actually came through um so that's fine um so let's see what we want to do here I kind of feel like doing some stamping okay so I'm going to use some of my rubber stamps here just to start adding some detail onto these pages you'll have to excuse the state of the stamps I've had them for I can't even tell you how long so um some of them are looking a little bit worse for wear I probably didn't clean them when I needed to but um I'm sure we've all been there and I'm pretty sure this is going to stamp perfectly fine anyway in fact let me just test it on some scrap paper first press down here and I'm just using an acrylic block yes so there is the stamp and I couldn't tell you actually where I got this from because I've had it for so long. So I don't want to use this as like a focal piece. I want to use it almost coming off the edge of the pages and just having it as a bit of a detail. So I think I might start with it being maybe about here. So the whole of the image is not going to go onto my page. I'm just going to have a section of it like this. And then I might do another one up here and just do it kind of a bit randomly so it doesn't look like it's the same stamp. And then I'll probably come in with a couple of others and do those as well. So maybe one over here, but I might turn it round and do it to the side. Like that. Oh, that wasn't quite how I wanted it to be. Never mind. I have a couple of like text stamps they don't say anything um as far as i'm aware 
but they're just little um, like fake cursive sections that I can use to add some some interest and because this is quite a harsh edge here I'm gonna have it off to one side so let me just pop this whoops I can't get it underneath let me just pop that there and then so I'll just do it so that only like a section of it actually gets onto the page and I'm just gonna lift this up because I think I'm struggling with the stitching that's underneath that page so I just want to make sure that I get somewhat of a clean stamp and you can just see that it adds just a little bit of something so maybe I'll go um, along where I've added this collage here so I like to do this where you've got like two things that are um, next to each other and then we can um, sort of join that gap almost so I'm just going to do it long ways I don't think it matters too much and just do a couple of these like so so some bits are darker than others but it's just to add that bit of detail so let's add one down here as well and anything that gets on this brown paper as well is lovely for some collage fodder later so we can just see there the bottom as well so something I've been liking to do recently is adding white paint to my pages and adding that softer look. But just before I do that, I want to add some of this scrap wallpaper to the page so that I can work to blend this in to my page. I'm trying not to cover up all of the um, tea staining, but I think maybe there. So I'm gonna add just a couple of collage pieces and then I can come in with the white paint just to start um, blending things together. So I think we will start with a piece there and then I just have this random um, book page piece off to the side so I might add this too. And then maybe have that going there so it's across the gap of the pages. And then what else shall we add? I think this page needs some contrast, so I'm going to add some brown paper to this as well. And I'm almost doing kind of similar um, style to what I did in the, um, I think it was the maximalism prompt that I did for Junk Journal July, where um, we had this really like heavy collage um effect and then i came in with the white paint and i just really loved how that looked so it's something that um since i did it in um that challenge i've been carrying it through and i think that's one of the good things about the challenges is you kind of pick up on different things um as you do the prompts and carry it through then into um other things that you do so i think maybe some of this as well and I'm not too worried about covering up the text that we've got on this page either because I think this works to create a bit more of a focal piece rather than having just the background. So I'm going to maybe add this in here and just start building up the layers that I've got on my page. Um, I don't want, I don't know where that piece came from. I don't want that piece. Um, I've also got some pink here. This is more of a, like a receipt type paper, but it's quite thin. So I might use some of this just to um, add. I really love the like number part um, of this. So let's see where I can add this to. I don't want to cover up. I know I just said I'm not afraid of covering stuff up, but I, I do want to like not cover the whole thing, especially because we're working with quite a small surface area. But I think this is like still kind of a bit see-through-ish, so hopefully it shouldn't cover up too much of what we've done here. I just want to bring it down a bit so that I'm not completely covering the um, coffee staining there because I really liked how that turned out. So I'm just going to stick this maybe about 
here-ish. I'm trying to not cover too much of the stamping either, even though I know I can uh, come back and add some more. But you can just see how this is slightly thinner paper. So I don't know if this is showing up on camera, but you can kind of see through the, the paper so you can see the text and things underneath. So I think that's around about enough collage now for me to start coming in with some of this paint. So I'm just going to use my paintbrush here and start coming in and I'm not applying it like really thickly. My paintbrush is already a little bit wet. To be perfectly honest, it's it's wet from the coffee water. So this white might not be like completely white, but I feel like having an ever so slight hint of like coffee water in this will will help with with blending it in. But as I say, you don't want like thick paint to begin with at least. I'm just building this up in quite thin quite thin layers and then gently adding this just to wherever I have joins in the the papers and it's nice and translucent so we're not covering anything up we're just softening it enough that things will start blending in now it won't blend as seamlessly when you have the brown paper so I'm just going to make sure that I don't cover that too much. I'm going to use like my brush when it's dry on that because you will notice more of that contrast with um, the white versus the brown. So I'm just going to keep to the areas where I think I can blend, blend this in and not have, because I don't want it to look I don't want it to look like I've done it. Does that make sense? I'm trying to make this look like it was meant to be like that. So really working on blending and softening those edges and just coming in gently. Because the thing with this is you can always add more. Like if you want to add more, you can always add more, but it's hard to take away once you've already put it on there. So if you want to do this, I would say add it in little bits and then you can gradually pull more and more in as you see that the page needs it because sometimes not all like I'm not going around every single edge like I don't think every single edge of this needs it it's just in certain areas where it might benefit from having that softer edge so alongside this pink here I'm just coming in with a bit more white just to uh, start working it into this area because I'm finding that this is quite a nice light area um, against everything else and I'm just using my finger to um, pick up any bits that I think are too strong because I don't want to have areas that look like I've put it on with my paintbrush so I'm really trying to um, airbrush it in almost and not add too too much to this page maybe i'll come and add some up here as well but again that really soft look i think i might add a bit more of the coffee water to this paint just to hopefully blend it in nicely here um, and this is just a nice way to add some mixed media to your page without going for the completely painty uh look so let's just blend that in there. I don't want to bring too much attention to this area because it's just a plain area on the page. Um, I'm not sure how this is showing up on camera but it looks pretty um, soft and blended in from where I'm looking. I know things will pick up slightly differently on camera but I think for now and because I've been applying that pretty um, thinly it's been drying really quickly, like this area here is already dry. So I'm just going to make sure that this piece of brown paper here is fully stuck down because it was peeling up a little bit. And I think that's all I want to do in terms of adding 
the the white for the collage there so i'm just gonna set that off to one side okay so whilst i'm thinking about like the bigger picture of this page i'm gonna come in and add some of my uh favorite ribbon um stickers they're the mu ribbons and i also might add some washi tape to this page so what i did recently actually is started to swatch out like all of my different washi tapes so that I have them in like a compact way so they these fit in my pencil case this isn't um all my washi tapes but it's just so much easier having the sample cards to hand and then I can top them up as and when I use them and you'll see what I did as well as I color coded them so like these are um my pink ones I've got some more neutral and floral ones um surprised myself with how many blue ones i actually have because i don't think this is a color that i use all too often um within my journal but i do have a fair few these are some more like neutral brown ones and then these are sort of the the darker pinks into purples um and some other random ones so yeah these are the sample cards and it's just really nice because i feel like as well when i've got this journal page so in a moment when i start adding washi tape i can just like hold it up to my page and i can just see like i feel like it's just really easy to like lie it flat and see rather than trying to like hold up the different rolls and stuff you can just sort of flick through um you know i could probably if i'd thought about this more maybe like put a hole in like left enough space put a hole in the top of each one and put them on a ring and then you know just like um one of those like sample books you get like the painter and decorators and i could have just had it like that um but yeah i just think this is a really easy way to just like hold it against the page and see which washi tapes i might want to use so i'm thinking for this maybe maybe the pink because i feel like i use a lot of pink lately but i do also quite like this one um against that as well so i think i'm just going to leave these over here just for now probably not going to use blue so i will set that aside um i don't think i'm gonna this color is quite nice but i don't think i'm going to use those but i'll just pop them to there for now um but yeah these emmy ribbon stickers this is the thing when <laughs> i've not done a like real-time journal with me for so long that i feel like i'm not used to um chatting through what i'm doing so I, I went off on a complete tangent there um but what i want to do is just add some of these because they don't add too much bulk and they are kind of a bit like a background piece in a way because they they just melt into um the page so i'm just going to find somewhere that i think this might sit quite nicely so let's see i want somewhere that's a bit plainer so maybe just here and just like layer this up with some of the stamping that i've got and then i'm just going to use the back of my scissors here just because i have them to hand don't worry i'm holding them nice and carefully um i should probably get like an actual tool for this but i'm forever using like the back of scissors or the back of a pen because it just works um so let me just peel that up there we go and you can just see that blends in i just love these um i use them all the time so you're probably sick of me um using them actually but um hey ho <laughs> i enjoy them on my page um i don't know if i want to add a um a pink to this page maybe i could layer that up actually so let me just uh trim this one here and so I think that might look quite nice down here actually so I'm just gonna peel this gently and stick it maybe we'll go for about there and again just gently use this to rub it on and then oops I didn't get it all let's try again there we go peel that off so that's a nice soft element there and then maybe i will add some of these um 
leaf elements. Maybe we'll just add this one here. So I think that might look quite nice up here. Brings the page across then as well. So we'll go for around about there, which um, overlaps with the stamping that I did before. There we go. So let me just show you how that looks layered up. So let's see. Let's add some washi tape. I feel like I'm just doing random collage here. Um, this is normally how my journal pages sort of um, start to build themselves up. Um, especially the like more art journal-y pages that I do. Um, I just sort of start building different elements up. So let's go for this one and I'm just going to fold it over the edge actually. There and I think I might want to layer this one with... I don't know if I want to do the stars or um, actually where did that blue one go? Because I quite like this one here, but I don't know if it will go with the page. Oh, actually, let's put that on the edge and then again, I'll fold it over. So there's a little bit on the other page. There we go. I don't mind that. And then I quite like this text one, if I can find the end of it. Um, it just says love. I don't know if this will go with the page, actually. It's kind of like stark white against everything else. Yeah, I don't think that'll go. I've got a lot of like beige cream tones on here, so I don't think that's going to match. Um, let's see. I do like these. Um, this one is an MT washi tape, and I think this might be nice, but it's a little bit wide, so I'm not sure. Let's just chop off a section of it. Maybe we can add this down here, so I'm just going to um, tear this slightly. Maybe just add, maybe just add this here. And then I feel like that needs another piece. I've got a random piece here, so maybe I'll just... I don't know, should we stick it back here and deal with it when I get to that page? Um, I might hate myself for doing that, but there we go. Random piece in the journal. Um, and so, yeah, I think it needs something more here. Maybe another piece of pink just to start carrying that along. Um, let's see. Let's go for about there. And then... We'll just add that to the middle. So I've started building up. You can definitely tell that um, I'm focusing on this side rather than this side of the page. And so I'm starting to get to that place where um, I'm kind of happy with how this is going and I don't want to spoil it, but we will carry it on. Okay, so these were from the previous journal session I did where um, I had a selection of these that I was going to use on the page and maybe I will just use one of these. I think I prefer this one to this one and it might be nice to um, bide my time and do some fussy cutting whilst I think about what I want to do for this page next. I feel like it needs a space where I can do some um, some text and add some words whether that's journaling or adding a quote I'm not sure this is very much more an art journal type of junk journal rather than um, doing loads of like writing and documenting so I think that um, I don't necessarily need tons and tons of space this is just a, a space where I can like do my collage and just have fun putting together different compositions it doesn't have to um, mean anything or serve a purpose it's just me having some fun um, with some papers doing a bit of collaging and just having a relaxing time so I'm just gonna fussy cut this and it's very hard to um, 
talk while I'm doing this, but I'm trying to not chop off any of the leaves. That's always such a tragedy whenever I'm doing fussy cutting and I accidentally like I'm cutting along and I don't realize that there's like another branch coming and then I end up chopping off one of the um, like the leaves or, or the branches or what have you. Um, so I'm trying not to to do that with this. Um, the nature of this being a smaller journal does mean that the fussy cutting required for a smaller journal, um, the pieces are a lot smaller again. But with these smaller scissors, it's a lot more manageable to um, to do and get through all of the little nooks and crannies. And it doesn't have to be like 100% precise. It's just so that I can get some nice, clean um, edges on my fussy cutting. So there's no police, as I keep saying, there's no journal police coming after you. Um, if you're, if you're fussy cutting or whatever isn't like 100% perfect, mine certainly isn't, but it's just something that I like to do. So this bit is super fiddly, I'm trying to get in here. Um, sometimes if something is really fiddly and I, I'm either not in the mood or it's like so fiddly that it, it's, it's gonna take me ages or I feel like I can't even do it um I will just like chop it off and pretend that it didn't exist so say this if this started getting like super intricate I would just chop it off and like who's gonna know honestly <laughs> um who, who's gonna know that you haven't included the whole thing so that's my secret for you um but this one wasn't too bad um, maybe I can get into this bit. I just feel like it's so satisfying once you start fussy cutting and getting rid of all the um, the little inside sections that um, are between the different elements. Um, it looks quite satisfying, but it's very tricky. So I don't like, for instance, that. I don't think I'm going to get into there. Um, I probably could with my craft knife, but... I'm not going to bother. So I think here might be a nice place for this one just because it will cover um, this section here and um, the sun has gone in. So sorry if there's some um, shadows on here. Hopefully the um, lighting is still okay. It was really sunny when I started filming, um, but now the sun's gone in um, a bit. So I think I'm just going to glue this down here and then maybe I could add... I wonder if a tag would be nice. The issue with this journal is because it's so small, like all the tags are um, like the wrong size almost. Because this tag is, it does fit. It's like just about the same size as the journal, but I don't think I want like a full a tag for the full page. Maybe I could stick it in the middle. I never know how I feel about tippins. I'd love to know what's your opinion on using tippins because I feel like they look nice on the edges of pages, but sometimes when I add them to the middle of a page, I feel like it splits the page up and then I just don't feel like I get the like complete um, size, like full spread. It's almost like it's a bit chopped off. I don't know, but I do kind of quite like how that looks maybe i'll add it as an extra page i don't know maybe we'll have to come back and sort like this side out because i'm really loving i'm really loving how this side's looking i don't know if i want to add this i think it's the contrast that i'm thinking is is quite nice here um maybe i could even no that looks silly let me glue this um element here down before i um, change my mind. Okay, so I'm just going to add this here, roughly, maybe slightly to an angle, and just glue this down. And then, I don't know, do I want this? Do I not? I don't think I do, but I don't know. Maybe I could add it, ooh, let's add it here maybe, and then you can see it behind. I think I like the contrast. 
that's what it is. I like the contrast, but I don't think we need it fully on the page. So tell you what, let's um, let's grab some brown washi tape. Let's do some tipping in. Do I want brown or do I want a different colour? Maybe I want something different. Um, let's see. I would like this one, but I think it's a bit too thin. Maybe I could use that on one side and then use something else on the other side to keep it in place. So let's just go for around about there. So I'm just going to add this to the tag about there because this page is a little bit shorter. So let's just do that about there. Maybe it needs to be out a bit. There. And then that's on that side and then just on this side um, I've got to be careful because this is like a tissuey type material so let's get a nice maybe I could do do you know what I kind of want to do I kind of want to put this on here because I feel like with the orange that's quite a nice um, contrast they are complementary colors I think that's the right word Oh, that wasn't perfect. Never mind. Um, that's too big. Let's trim this down slightly and we won't put that to waste. So let's go for around here-ish. I'm just going to make sure that's in the gap there. And then that is not straight at all, but never mind. Um, and so when I come to this, I can either work with it or decide that I want to cover it up. But I think that's a nice contrast here and I don't think we need this here. And I might come in and add something else up there, but I don't think we need it. But it just adds a nice contrast for this page. I kind of feel like rounding the corners on this, so maybe we'll do that. Um, this kind of like pottering around the different pages is normally when I'm deciding what I want to do next. So there we go. I like those rounded edges. I kind of felt like rounding all the corners of this journal as I went. Um, but then I didn't think I needed to do that for the whole journal. Um, but that looks quite nice. Um, on there, maybe I could even do some um, sort of edging of this here. Um, I think people have those fancy Tim Holtz brushes for this, but I'm just going to very gently use my stamp pad um, and then let that dry so that it doesn't go everywhere. But just to do the edge of that, I just think it pops a little bit. I don't like it when it's overdone. Um, that's something I see quite a bit, you know, when you have like all of the edges done. Um, that's just not something that I personally like to do. Um, not saying it's wrong, just saying it's not um, my cup of tea. And then, so this was actually um, from one of the inserts that I got recently from um, a traveler's notebook. Um, I got a little craft, where did it go? Um, a little journal. So maybe once I've done this junk journal, um, in the passport size, maybe it might be quite nice to do a craft journal just because you get a completely different experience with um, fully craft papers. So that might be quite fun to do. So I think maybe I will just use some of this. So maybe I could even turn it around and just use the reverse side or maybe I could use, should we use all of the I'm conscious I don't want to, although actually that won't look too bad because um, we've got the, the hole punches there. Um, I think it takes up too much of the page just like that. Um, maybe just like half of it. That might be enough. Um, and then, oh, I could even tell you what, like we, we could do this. So how about we um, 
do it like this, maybe that way around. And then that way we get some of the text of the paper. And then we can use this as something for journaling. Um, like that, so it's a little bit of a border. So let's stick that down. And this is just nice to use um, paper from packaging and things like that. Um, that's probably one of my favorite things to do actually is if you have like random sheets of paper and things you can always just um turn them around and use them like as just the brown paper sometimes you can see the text that's been printed on it showing through but um that's all the spirit of recycling i think um and using things in your journal so let me just add this to here so i think i'm just gonna add that there so i am covering up some of the stuff that's already um on the page here but what i might do is actually um if i've got some smaller elements here i think this is something that's actually been um chopped off from another element but maybe if we use one of these and then maybe a leaf as well or one of the one of the smaller flowers let's go for this one um because i just want to blend it in so it doesn't look like i've just plonked the paper straight onto um everything else i want to help it to blend in with everything else that we've got going on so i'm just going to add this piece to the corner maybe around about here and I'll just um, press this down so I can peel it off. There we go. And then where did my other little piece go? There. Um, I think that's from something else, but we'll just add that on because that adds a nice bit of layering to this whole thing. There we go. And you can just see then how, um, I don't think you'd actually know um, that I've done it in that order. Um, I think what I might do is add some white detailing to this page. So let me just grab my white pen if I can find it in this pencil case. Yeah, so I'm just gonna use my white pen. As always, this is a Uniball, um, Uniball Signo, you won't see me using anything else. I love using this pen, um, if it will focus. Yeah, um, love using this pen. You can get it in different um, like nib sizes. You can get the um, fine tips, you can get like broader tips as well. So I'm just gonna add some white dots. I like to add these a lot just to start bringing everything together um, it's almost like a little bit of a finishing touch um, but again I think I've said this before when I start adding white pen it's like like thinking time for my journal so I'm like thinking about what I might do next and whilst I do that I'm gonna add the the pen to this so let's just add this in different places white lines over here and it's nice with this size of a journal to just start adding in um, little details here and there so maybe even some white lines across here to finish this page off I'm just going to add a hand lettered quote just to this brown section and I'm probably going to like overlap it so that it doesn't um, just stay within this box and sort of brings everything together. So I've just got a quote from um, Morgan Harper Nichols and it says, I'm looking forward to the small things that bring me joy. So nice and simple for this page because I feel like this page was full of lots of little bits and pieces that were bringing me joy. So I'm just going to add this to this section of the page.
so I think with that quote, that is everything for this page. So it'll be interesting to see what happens with this random tag decision that I've made at the back here. Um, but I just think it adds a bit of um, lift to the page we've got here. And so this is the finished page. So I think that it's um, a little bit different from these, but these were kind of me warming up um, and getting um, started in this journal. This was a lot more um, minimal, whereas here I have really um, started to integrate some of the different elements. So I hope you enjoyed joining me for a real-time journal with me session. Um, let me know maybe what you've been working on um, whilst you've been joining me for this journal with me. But um, thank you so, so much for watching. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye guys.